Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Dane reads. It's currently Sunday the 18th of April 2021. I am currently reading Uncommon Type by uh, Tom Hanks, as in, you know, Tom Hanks. I think a lot of people on BookTube have already read this book, so shouldn't be surprised by its existence really. But yeah, I'm enjoying it well enough so far, pretty good. Uh, on course for a 4 out of 5, but we'll see, it might drop down to a 3.5. The first story I really enjoyed, the second one not so much. Uh, and I'm about to start on the third, so that's where we're at. Uh, I have an audiobook going of Battle Royale at the moment, which I'm enjoying. Um, so, I want to finish that off soon, probably while listening to some classical music vinyls. And then I'm going to re-watch the movie as well. I actually have it in dubbed French. So I'm going to try it in French with English subtitles, even though it's a Japanese movie. So that should be interesting. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, just the same old, same old. Hello, it is currently Wednesday. I need to turn my calendar over. I'm still on March of there, so I don't know what Wednesday it is. Roughly the, I don't know, 21st, I think, because yesterday was 4.20. Uh, I've been absent AWOL for a few days because um, the charger for my uh, for, uh, camera battery died on me. So I had to order a new one, and that's arrived today, so I'm now sort of getting back to it. Got a whole bunch of stuff to film, uh, some photos to take for eBay and whatnot, so that's all good. Uh, in terms of what I've been reading, I finished reading my audiobook of Battle Royale by Kushan Takami, uh, which I did enjoy. I mean, I've read it in the past, uh, and it used to be a five star. I think this time I'll probably give it four stars, but I'm glad that I watched it, and I will be uh, watching the movies soon, both one and two. Sorry, I'm letting the cat out. I think I actually have them both with French audio with English subtitles, which should be interesting since it's a Japanese movie dubbed in French with English subtitles. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yes, I've, so I finished reading that. Then I read Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. Uh, there'll be a full review of that coming soon. Tom Hanks, the actor. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I do think he would have struggled to have got that published if he was an indie author. Purely because, A, it's hard for indie authors anyway, like publishers want you to have a huge social media follow before they'll take that risk. But also, most publishers don't like taking on uh, short story collections. But actually, like, if I judged it against indie books, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I gave it a 4 out of 5, which I did round up, mainly because he's known as a celebrity, uh, rather than as being a writer. And so, for someone like that, I thought it was quite impressive. And now I'm just reading uh, Marathon Man by William Goldman. Uh, he's the guy who wrote The Princess Bride. He also wrote screenplay, I think, to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Uh, but it's not very interesting. I'm right at the end now, and I'm just going to be glad to get it over, to be honest. And then I think I'm going to read The Q Annual by Spike Milligan. I also had a book in today that I've somehow lost already. I keep doing that. I don't know. It's around somewhere. I need to pop that off on my Goodreads. But it's a poetry collection anyway, so that won't take me too long. So there's that. Um, I don't have any current audiobooks planned, so I'm mostly going to be um, uh, listening, uh, watching through my Watch Later playlist on YouTube. I've also been listening through my vinyls, so that was good. So I listened to like Meatloaf today and some Adamant and you know all that kind of stuff. Uh, Wings I listened to as well. And so um, yeah, that's what I've been up to. I went to meet the guy I'm buying the house from today, um, just to go through like the freehold basically and to, to cover that off. Um, to go over any questions, swap contact details and stuff. And we also did like a gentleman's agreement uh, for the contents of the place, the fixtures and fittings. So I'm paying them 250 quid, but I get to keep, you know, the fridge, the freezer, the oven, uh, sofa, I think, bed. So all this stuff is kind of thrown in, which is uh, pretty handy. So that's where I'm at. Um, I think that's about all I've got for you, to be honest. We have a Sunday, an acoustic Sunday jam coming up on Sunday at the Art Center. Uh, my colleague Fran has asked me if I mind if she gets my ex-girlfriend to work on the bar. So I said yes, because I kind of do, but only because like I had pretty like, strong feelings for her. So, I mean, in an ideal world, I, 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 don't, I don't like mixing business with pleasure, you know? Um, but I guess that's the price you pay when you work for a local charity organization. Like, Everybody I know goes to the art centre, so it's just kind of inevitable. In actual fact, it's possible that I'll have two ex-girlfriends at the same time, at the same place, which would be nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, that's what we've been chatting about today. Um, yeah, I'm also kind of anxious as well. I actually just took my Fitbit off because my heart rate was spiking. Although it was spiking unrealistically, like I was watching it go up and it's like, there's no way it's going up that quickly, you know? So uh, I reckon I was in cardiac mode and I was just sitting down. I have been in fat burn mode, but that's because I've been playing a lot of guitar this evening. Um, did some videos for the Open Mic Slate Facebook group, which is like a great virtual open mic. 
Um, so I did that, and I also did a cover of somebody that I know through that group. So that was a lot of fun to do. But yes, now I've done this, it's off to do wrap up and then some other shit, I guess. So yeah. Misa watching Star Wars Episode One. Be because I watched the, I read the Ian Dersha, uh, what was it called? The Phantom of Menace, Shakespeare take on this. Go on, bravo leader. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Hello, everybody. It is what? Quarter to eight on the 22nd of April. I believe it's a Thursday. Yes, it is a Thursday. Uh, I finished reading uh, whatever I was reading last. I've got so many books. Oh, Marathon Man. I finished reading that. Then I read Q Annual by Spike Milligan. Uh, Q was a TV show that he had. So it's basically a collection of scripts and photos and stuff. Lots of racism in it, to be honest. Uh, several N-bombs. We had a W-bomb, which is like a word you don't even hear anymore. Like, you know, with N-bombs and stuff, like rappers use it. So I'm talking about the W-bomb was the, the one that's, the one that rhymes with cog. Um, and yeah. It, and like he had some like Indian people in there, some Chinese people, and he was he, they were speaking in Chinglish. I'm trying to show you what he was doing, but I can't do that without being racist myself. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, it was okay still. I mean, it was amusing. I think I would have enjoyed it more if I knew the TV show because it's basically just a collection of scripts for something I've never seen. And obviously, the racism was very problematic. I mean, unfortunately, with Spike Milligan, he did that a lot. Now I think it's because. He was, I mean, he fought in the Second World War, so I think he actually picked up a lot of it while he was in the British Army. Um, and there were like sketches of Hitler stuff and him doing, like wearing a little moustache and doing the old, you know. So, uh, yeah, a little bit problematic, but still, I, I probably like a three out of five, it was okay. And I'm now reading The Food of the Gods by H.G. Wells. Uh, I've literally only read the introduction of the first couple of pages so far. Um, but it sounds really interesting. So basically the food of the gods is like this food that when people eat it makes them grow really tall and you know into giants and stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, my sleep's a little bit off. I tried to go to bed like twice last night and eventually fell asleep at like six. Um, so I have IBS uh, which gives me a lot of stomach problems and Basically when I went to bed last night I was lying in bed and the noise from my stomach was keeping me awake as well as the sensations obviously But yeah, I, I did look it up because I get a lot of anxiety my anxiety and my IBS are very linked So I get stomach aches and it makes me anxious But it, equally if I'm anxious about something it gives me stomach aches. So it's kind of this vicious circle uh, But I do have a little bit of you know like mental relief I guess because I ended up googling like the gurgling stomach sounds and found not only like IBS basically has a very particular type of stomach sounds. This is kind of gross. I don't know if you necessarily want to hear this, but basically what happens is like my guts like contract and expand way quicker than they should do. And that's what causes the gurgling sounds because they're like trying to push basically like water through my intestines and stuff. And so it makes all this like kind of sounds and stuff. Um, but it's quite specific to the point at which this one company has actually developed uh, a tool that is like a belt that you can wear and it uses AI to listen into your stomach and it can detect whether you've got IBS or not based upon the noises because they're that different from regular stomach noises and whatnot because obviously everyone's stomach rumbles every now and then. Um, unfortunately this company is only in Australia so I can't actually try their tech but I did listen to a few like recordings of what a stomach sounds like when there's the, the, someone suffering from IBS and it's exactly what my stomach was doing. Um, but yeah, it was very noisy and kind of uncomfortable. I had my hot water bottle and was cuddled up um, reading my um, Isaac Asimov bedtime book as well. I'm reading uh, The Roving Mind, which is like a collection of his essays, uh, which is really interesting, but it's just very small print and quite, it's quite intense because of the subject matter a lot of the time and it being essays, but also a lot of the essays are very similar, so I've read like four in a row of him railing against creationism, which is great because, you know, creationism is a load of bollocks. But the problem is, is it's just the same stuff said four different ways for like different publications and stuff. But hey ho, I am enjoying that. And now I got this in the post today, which is my new laptop charger because my old one broke because it's like, you see how tiny this is? I don't know if you can even see it. Like it's a lot smaller than a normal laptop charger is. And so these ones seem to break very easily. Uh, fortunately, the, the entire charger, this cost me about a tenner, I think, which isn't too bad, really. 
Um, but I normally have my laptop on playing Red Dwarf and I watch Red Dwarf while reading in bed. So I haven't been able to because what I do is I read and I do Duolingo on my phone at the same time because I'm insane. Um, so it means I couldn't even watch Netflix on my phone because I was using my phone for, for, for Red Duolingo. So now I can get back to in my evenings, net, uh, Red, Red Dwarf on Netflix on the laptop, Duolingo on my phone, Isaac Asimov book, hot water bowl, Biggie there, it'll be lovely. He actually, he was letting me spoon him yesterday, it was really sweet. So that's where we're at and uh, this evening because I didn't go to sleep till like 6am and woke up at like 3pm I will probably be up late night, late tonight so I'm going to do as much filming as I can before it gets too late to film and then do lots of editing and stuff and um, yeah I got lots of stuff I want to list on eBay again because I'm looking into moving house I was actually talking today about um, uh, income protection um, insurance which basically just means if I have an accident or like if I break my hand for example uh, they'll pay out so that I can still pay my mortgage uh, they also if I break a bone even if it's my foot and I can still work I get an immediate payout for that um, and also like critical illnesses and all of that kind of stuff so it's just common sense really to get it um, but I'm sorting that out today I went to see the guy I'm buying from yesterday um, and sorted that out uh, so at the moment I'm literally just waiting for my mortgage to go through and for my solicitors to do all the paperwork but there's a bit of a backlog with people at the moment so I'm just sitting around waiting not really knowing what's going to happen and when I'll be able to move and all that stuff but in the meantime because of my eBay store I'm just trying to sell like as much stuff as I can I'll link to my eBay below actually there's a ton of books on there a ton of vinyls uh, pretty much everything is free postage but I'm also accepting offers at the moment because again it's, it's in my best interest to get rid of stuff so if somebody sends me an offer for something that's more than the postage is going to cost me, I will probably accept it, um, just to kind of get rid of it and to get that little bit of money coming in. And, hello, hello, can daddy pick you up? Da, 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 da. Biggie's here. Hello. You want to go back down again? Oop, sorry. So yeah, that's where we're at. Hello! Uh, right, where are we? It's Friday. It's 7.40pm on Friday. I did manage to do a lot of filming yesterday and a reasonable amount of editing. Uh, earlier on I made a really delicious curry. Uh, maybe I can show you. So it's uh, Bombay potatoes with chickpeas as well. Uh, sweet potatoes and it is delish. So uh, I had some of that. I'm just doing a quiet spot of laundry as well. Having a wild Friday night. I heard from my mum earlier today that my, my granddad is going to help me out with some money for my uh, house purchase, which is much appreciated. It's like really going to make the difference. Uh, it means also I can have less anxiety because basically my issue is less that I can't afford the house. It's that if I put all of my money towards the house, then I, I, that includes the money I have put aside for tax. So basically my granddad helping me with the house means I can definitely afford to pay my tax, which is a huge relief. Um, what else have I got for you? I went for a walk earlier, that was nice, it's been a nice sunny day. Uh, I finished reading The Food of the Gods by H.G. Wells, pretty solid 4 out of 5. It was actually pretty close to a 4.5. Uh, it's a really cool concept, basically this food is invented which makes people and animals and stuff all grow super quickly and um, so you get like giant bees, giant rats and stuff and like giant people as well so I just thought that was really cool, quite a cool concept and now I'm reading Oceans of Venus by Isaac Asimov, this is actually one of his Lucky Star novels that was originally published as Paul French uh, which is his pseudonym, it's only about 130 pages so I shall probably finish reading it before I go to bed and I've really enjoyed all of the other Lucky Star books so far so um, I'm just really digging that to be honest I watched Battle Royale last night, uh, I watched it with a French audio and English subtitles which was pretty cool because uh, I understood a lot of it and it was like mind blowing because I'd be like how come I can suddenly understand Japanese, oh wait it's because they're speaking French and I could see where like sometimes it differed from the subtitles so the English subtitle said they were saying that hurts whereas actually what they said in French was connor which means dickhead so that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, so yeah and like there was like a teacher going I say vous uh, which means sit down. And he said it a lot more aggressively than my old French teacher at secondary school used to say. Mon professeur au lycée. Donc, uh, oui, c'était très bien. Et uh, maintenant, uh, je, je regarde uh, le, le deuxième film, uh, Battle Royale 2 Requiem. Et voilà, il y a un chat. Bonjour. Salut. Salut. Oh. 
on the salut à l'internet. Tu es le meilleur chat dans le monde. Oh oui. Bisous. Bisous, bisous. Merci. All right, so that's where we're at. Hello everybody, it is currently what? Um, 10.33 p.m. on Sunday the 25th of April. So we had our Sunday jam in the garden, Acoustic Sunday Jam at the Art Centre today, which was a lot of fun. So um, a few people got to go on twice, including me and my friend Dave and our band The Ilk. So we did, what did we do? We did one of my songs, Watch the Planet Die, one of Dave's, Burly Chassis. Then we did Hey Joe. And then later on we went back on again and we did um, Jean Genie which I forgot the chords to, even though there's only like three chords, and Park Life as well. So a lot of fun, uh, everyone had a good time. It was a little bit quieter than the one last weekend, which was like our relaunch party, but that's okay, we were kind of expecting that, and to be honest, I think the bar staff needed it, so they had a bit of a less busy shift, you know? Uh, I have finished reading Oceans of Venus by Isaac Asimov, which was a Lucky Star book, originally published under the name Paul French. Uh, which I gave a 4 out of 5 to. I really like the Lucky Star books. All of the ones I've read have been great and you don't necessarily have to read them in order. Um, he did say at the beginning that uh, scientific theory has moved on. So at the time it was believed that Venus might have had oceans on it and then we later learned no, no chance of that. So the oceans of Venus, the entire story doesn't really work on a scientific basis but Asimov was like hopefully you enjoy it anyway and I did. And now I'm just getting to the end of The Winds of Change by Isaac Asimov which is a collection of his uh, short fiction. Uh, which I'm enjoying because again it's got all the little introductory essays in this one which I really enjoy. They give a lot of extra context to all the stories and from like a writer's point of view I think it's pretty cool to be able to see that. So yeah that's on, po on par to reach 4 out of 5, just got another 40 pages to go. And then I can't actually see where my next book is but I think I was planning on reading uh, up here. Is it? Yeah I am taking it down yet. So I'm probably going to read this which is Fellside by M.R. Carey. I've read some M.R. Carey before and quite enjoyed it. Uh, I'm now getting to the point at which like, I only have big, bigger, old, bigger books like this one to get to. Um, but once I've re finished reading The Winds of Change, uh, this will be um, the, the, the 56 left on my uh, currently reading list. So that's very exciting. So I think that's about it. I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.